Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing who is coming towards you. This can be love, relationships, um, friends, co-workers, you know, whatever comes up in the reading. But just to let you know that this is mainly aimed at singles, okay? So let's get started with the reading. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. We'll take 10 seconds out to choose your group. Okay, I'm just going to clear the energy and we're just going to get started. Beautiful, okay. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's go. Who is coming towards you? We have, oh nice, Scorpio. And we're in Scorpio season, I'm a Scorpio and it's my birthday soon, so that is beautiful. So we've got a Scorpio, Pisces. Oh my God, I love that so much. Uranus, Jupiter, Aquarius, and Libra okay so for this group I'm getting friendship and romance so if any of you guys have um, a friend with Aquarius Jupiter any of these Scorpio Pisces Aquarius or Libra in Uranus or Jupiter or their sun sign or you know any other sign then this is the group for you or this is the person coming towards you that who you don't know already and we have happy ending oh my god this group oh my god i'm so excited yay okay so i'm just gonna pull some tarot for you guys let's see oh my god that flew right across the room that one's definitely for you guys queen of cups beautiful so that is you being completely and utterly happy with this person beautiful love that god it's really stunning Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. What happy ending is coming forward? Three of Cups, beautiful, love that. Let's move these guys up so you've got a bit more room. I never leave myself enough room. Hmm, interesting. I'm not gonna think too deeply into that. Okay, <laughs> so what else is coming for this group? Who's coming towards me? Oh my God, yes, Knight of Cups, boom. This is why I'm shuffling, because I definitely feel like this is going to be similar to the other groups as well. Page of Swords. Beautiful. So it could even be a Cancerian coming towards you guys as well. Or even a... Yeah, Pisces we've got as well. Uh, Seven of Cups. And let's have a look for one more. Two of Wands. I feel like I need to pull one more card. Oh, the Lovers. There we go. That's why I need to pull one more card. What's these? Do I want these? I don't want these. Okay, underneath the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Is this in the reverse? Yes? Yes, okay, this is in the reverse. So what it's showing me is some of you guys may be needing to let go of some people, okay? Some of you have already let go of somebody, and that's good. We want that. That is what we want. For some of you, uh, you may need to let go of somebody, okay? So that is what they're showing me for the main energy. Uh, where should we put this guy? Should we put him? Okay, we're just going to put him in the corner. He's not really that important at the moment. Okay, so we will put him over here. So I see this person who's coming towards you is going to be so amazing. Okay, so they could be a Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aquarius or Libra and their Uranus and Jupiter could be quite prominent in their chart. You both could have the same Uranus and Jupiter, which doesn't really change. Um, I think it doesn't change for like 10 years or something, something like that. It takes a while to change. So, um, Queen of Cups, you could even have a different Uranus, oh, <laughs> you could have a different Uranus and Jupiter. Um, so you could have quite a big age gap between you two. So in terms of love and relationships, I do see you being very happy with this person coming into your life. You're going to be celebrating with them. You're going to be like, yes, bitch. Like you're really going to be like, yes, I have freaking done the thing. So you have moved on from old energies and you have got so much freaking choice as to what you can do with this person. Like you've got so many things you could do that like they love the same things as you. They want to do things with you. They want to go out with you. They want to explore the world with you. They want to go to different countries with you. 
um they want to go out to eat with you and i feel like this is a massive deal for you guys who've chosen this group because for some of you i feel like you've met people who haven't been up to your same standards right so you've got all these standards and you're like i want to meet somebody who's like me you know i've got all these standards where is the person that i want to be with this is that person this is the person who has such high standards which is actually really good like this person is so emotionally clear of old baggage that where you are clearing out yourself or you're already cleared this person is coming in so quickly okay they're coming in so so quick so i'm just going to pull a couple of uh charms for this person let me just bear with me a sec i've got some stuff on my desk and i need to i need to get rid of it okay cool right let's pull some charms um i need a little where did i put my little tray oh we're just gonna use this one instead use my bigger tray right let's pull some charms i'm getting the name uh sarah and yeah sarah that's pretty much it <laughs> okay let's pull some more i'm getting the name nadine or navia and uh, Natalia and Natalie okay so that could be your name it could be your friend's name that's coming in I'm seeing like girlfriends you know like two girls being like best friends okay so we've got dream catchers are coming in and you are perfect this is somebody who is going to see you as perfection pretty much they are definitely a water sign because you've got a little seashell here um they're really really balanced and so are you you're going to be balanced by the time you meet this person Tuesday could be a prominent day they could be the day of their birth Day, you know or it could be when you're going to meet this person we've got e k r h n i and x okay we also have the owl so someone very wise someone who's transformed a lot in their life so definitely scorpio vibes there you both have transformed in different ways and you both are going to teach each other different things okay if person's gonna be very cuddly like a bear they love cuddles they love um, being close to you um even a best friend you could i could see you like guys hugging and cuddling um and i definitely see this person's very like childlike sometimes they can be very childlike which is really good i'm just going to turn this lighting down a little bit so you can see guys we've got a little hello kitty so you could even like hello kitty um i do see this being a woman liking this obviously if you're a guy you can like it too but i'm seeing more of a female energy because we've got a mermaid next to it as well um and somebody who's very very pretty okay i'm seeing like a, a blonde haired woman so it could be you or could be this best friend coming in uh yeah that's mainly what i'm seeing or like a ginger haired like someone with very long hair that's basically that it don't have to be it doesn't have to be that um that color hair i'm seeing for a lot of you um a black female woman as well so whatever that means to you could be a family member could be a friend coming in could be you um yeah i'm just seeing this is very prominent i'm getting um a black female woman and her name beginning with s so could be a sarah could be a sandra could be a sally could be a samantha you know all that jazz so happy ending this is an absolutely stunning group and i'm really happy for you guys so that is who is going to be coming in for you guys um male or female and i hope you like this reading if you like it please give a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you like a private reading with myself then please let me know the options are down below and you can email me or you can instagram message me and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's see who is coming towards you um for some reason i'm getting some of you are asking what this bracelet is i feel like some of you are kind of eyeing it up i don't know why um but if you are then this is hematite and i have a little scorpio uh sign on it as well which you can't see because it's not focusing there we go don't know why i am showing you that but maybe you guys need to feel grounded i don't know always personal make you feel grounded because uh, hematite is very grounding and look we've got taurus who is the most probably the most grounded <laughs> grounded sign out of all the friggin <laughs> zodiacs so there we go taurus and then we got gemini virgo saturn mars sorry i said saturn really loud i was reading it as saturn because it says saturnus but i was like saturn <laughs> and then we also have the moon so in terms of planets we have saturn mars and the moon so their moon sign could be taurus gemini virgo could also be their saturn and mars i'm just like focusing on this really cute moon it's like all silver like a silver foil you can't really see it but it's so pretty i love it it's, these cards are stunning right 
And then we also have, for you guys, new beginnings. Oh my God, yay. Yay, I love this group. Okay, the last group got happy ending and you guys got new beginnings. Fuck, I am so excited. Oh my God, this is the best thing ever. I'm so excited. Okay, calm down, Vicky, calm down. Deep breaths, everyone, deep breaths. Okay, so let's see what is going on for you in the tarot. Let's see, tell me more, tell me more about this person. So as I said, it could be a Taurus, Gemini or Virgo. Their Saturn, Mars, and their moon sign could be either of those, or it could just be a very prominent sign that you kind of are drawn to. So tell me more about this person. Yep, very grounded, quite stubborn, which makes sense because you've got Taurus here. Um, no offense to my Taurus people, I love Taurus, just they can be quite stubborn, which is fine because they're a fixed sign, and so am I. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm stubborn as hell. Um, <laughs> right, so it could even be a Pisces coming towards you as well. Um, this is somebody who is very, very, like, new. Okay, they're so, so new. They're going to come in after a death process. And we've got Scorpio vibes here as well. Could be a Scorpio-Pisces pairing as well. So you could be a Pisces or a Scorpio. We've got three of wands, the Hierophant, and then can we get one more? This is feeling like a best friend or, like, a very, very close friend or a lover. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling for this group. Okay, right, that's all the cards I want to pull. Actually, I want to pull one more. Let's get one more. Right, so this person, I'm going to be starting a new start with them. They're very balanced, or they're learning to balance themselves out right now. They may be quite an intense person, so they're very fixed. So they're, as I say, quite stubborn. So they may be somebody who's learning to kind of relax and to balance their life out and not so be so intense with everything, because that can actually be a burden for them sometimes. They can possibly be alcoholic, um... They could drink too much to their friends, eat too much. Yeah, I'm getting drink too much. It might not even be alcohol. Might be drinking too much, like fizzy, like soda, like pop, um, like eating too much sugar, that sort of thing. So they're balancing themselves out right now. So this person is, I'm getting a male for you guys who are looking for love. I mean, obviously a female as well, but I'm getting more a female friend and a male partner but obviously if you're not attracted to men in terms of a partnership could be a female as well but i'm getting more male so underneath the deck we have the queen of wands in the reverse with the lovers underneath so this person's actually going to help you balance yourself out as well as balance themselves out and they're going to help you to feel more empowered with who you are there you're actually going to meet them when you are learning to be more empowered with who you are and basically they are really really fun and they're making me really excited because i'm really excited for this group i am absolutely buzzing okay and if you guys can see a little dot in my candle it's because it's a dead fly so i'm sorry you guys can see that um i need to get rid of him i need to salvage him out of my wax <laughs> out of the wax of the candle um out of my wax that sounds quite um sexual i don't know what i'm talking about i'm weird i'm really weird today I'm just so excited okay so this person very very determined to be with you they're possibly going to be from a different country or a different place that probably is quite far away from you or a place that you don't even know of you're going to be like you know what? i've never heard of that where are where do you live <laughs> um so for some of you can meet this person at a walking in nature um at a cafe in i'm getting the word zoom so it could be like i don't know what that means like a zoom i don't know if they're talking about zoom the video chat okay they are talking about that as well like skype um, but it's Zoom. I don't know what Zoom is. So it could be like, it could be a photographer with a Zoom lens. Um, it could, I'm getting like Zoom, like a, this is really random, but like a kid's park, like a kid's um, like soft play park. And it could be called like Zoom. Um, I'm getting just the word Zoom. So I feel like you may be going somewhere called Zoom, like the company is called Zoom. And then you're going there to kind of like, you know, that's where it is. Um, sorry, it's gone so dark, by the way. The, it's It's very dark today um and we also have yeah a lot of a lot of different energy a lot of like open energy moving concentrating on your own self um and this energy is just beautiful okay a new start and it's stunning this person's coming in pretty soon okay we've got this person's coming in in scorpio season okay and possibly december as well for you guys so uh also i'm going to pull some charms for you so let's do that right now I'm getting witchy vibes so some of you guys might associate yourself as a witch um or you could be like it's all this person that you're connected with could be a witch so i'm just going to hold it up to you guys so we have two starfish so you could be very very similar this could even be like a twin or twin flame i'm getting 
um yeah i'm not sure why like a long lost twin even wow that's intense love that got friday thursday and friday so you could be have a birthday that's like literally the day after this person or the day before um or a specific date where you both meet and you're like oh my god this is amazing this person's gonna think you're perfect and whether they're a friend or not um and we have a dream catcher here some of you guys could actually be friends with this person before you are possibly in a relationship with them we got the letter i m and r so it could be they've got the letter r in their name it's like i'm like rachel or raven or rochelle you know it could be that very spiritual person very grounded someone who's gone for a lot of transformation i feel like one of you is going to associate yourself with a butterfly or you both could associate yourself with a butterfly one of you could be the moth one of you could be a butterfly but i feel like actually yeah i feel like one of these are a moth and one of these are butterflies and they're also going to bring a lot of abundance to your life whether a relationship or um friendship that you're going to feel really like happy with this person you're going to feel rich being in this person's presence because they're just so amazing like they're just so suitable so so wow they're so suited for you uh, and they're very spiritual and you're possibly going to meet this person through a spiritual job um or you could meet this person yeah like being a say if you're a tarot reader they could be your client or they could be your tarot reader <sighs> yeah definitely for a lot of you guys 100 percent. some of you i feel like could be actually skeptical of tarot reading and you get one and you're like oh my god this person's amazing i want to be their friend now <laughs> i don't know something like that you're on the right path to this person you could even meet this person at costco's i have no idea why that's so random i don't think we have costco's in this country um like a big warehouse like store where they have like big bulk of everything like you buy bulk of everything i'm getting like cost 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 costa as well which is a like a starbucks we have in england costa and costco's and costa rica i'm getting cost so it might like take a lot of it costs a lot of money to get to them but it's gonna be worth it okay so that is your reading sorry my elbow just made a really weird noise thank you so much for um watching this reading if it resonated please get a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you would like to um if obviously if it didn't resonate as i say then let it fly if it did then let me know if you would like to obviously you don't have to uh free will and all that um <laughs> also if you um also thinking this is so random but i'm really concentrating on my dowsing crystal which i have here which is my smoky quartz crystal i love this crystal some of you guys i feel like are going to buy a uh uh dowsing crystal as well and put maybe some new tarot um okay anyway so thank you so much so much for thank you so much for watching um and also if you'd like a private reading all the information is down below I also feel like for you, citrine is also very good for you. For some reason, I'm getting that. And like tourmaline and black onyx. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. We have Leo, Capricorn, Pluto, Aries, and the Sun. We also have spirituality so you could be very much meeting a very spiritual person they could be a your lover or a friend and i do feel like they're definitely a fire sign because we got leo and we've got aries and we got the sun could have a, a pluto in capricorn or you know aries or leo in capricorn in um sorry in the pluto sign um definitely going to be somebody who's very spiritual as i said um, you could be just be meeting your soul tribe, which is really, really stunning. I love this so much. Um, okay, so let's get some tarot and let's see kind of more about this person. Also, sorry for the lighting, guys. It's very, very dark at the moment in England. So let's have a look. So we've got the Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords in Rebirth. Nope, that's upright. Okay, beautiful. Four of Swords. Let's move this up a little bit like that. Do, 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 do. I've got a celebration in my head. Celebrate good times. Come on. For some reason I'm getting Lego for this person. So maybe this person likes building Lego. Or they can, you're both going to build something together. Which is cute. Even you might even build something out of Lego. I don't know. I do not know. So for this person. They. For some reason they may force themselves into your life. So you may be a bit like. Wow this person's really persistent. And then they suddenly like crack. <laughs> 
and you some or they like crack you pretty much and um, because they're a Leo I'm feeling that they quite could be quite a forceful person but this is actually a really good thing because you're meant to be with this person you know you may not be used to this this much attention and I do feel like this is a partner they just really really like you okay got the lovers with the seven of pa uh, cups page of swords and the king of cups so it could even be a water sign here as well uh they're definitely somebody who is really really determined to be with you they're like i'm so ready to be this person um in terms of a relationship could be a friendship as well um so this is somebody who will probably travel to see you um and they possibly live quite far away um somebody who's definitely determined to be with you i keep getting that determination i keep repeating myself as well so they are literally so determined um very earthy i'm getting they could be fire and earth um they're very driven they're somebody who likes to work at the computer so i think for some of you guys they're gonna be like an it they're gonna be like a technician um they could be working like i can see them working with kids um in dt is it dt you know um what's it the lesson where you make things i don't know what it's called i've literally got out my head but where you make things that there may be somebody who does that with with kids could be a club um you can meet this person at a club or they could you can meet this person and they could be you could be you you could be teaching and they could be teaching this club and then you meet this person then and then you're getting sunflowers for this person so and this leo person is holding a massive sunflower like right here i don't know if you can see that um so i do feel like this person is possibly going to offer you a sunflower or sunflowers could be like a really prominent flower for you guys. Like they just show you like the sun. And I've got here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to be given the sun for this person. They're going to open your world up. They're going to be like, I feel like you're quite an introvert. And they're going to almost show you how to be an extrovert. Or yeah, I do feel this person is quite extroverted. They're very like creative as well. So they're very just expressive. Like I can see with this girl, she has like flowers in her hair. So for some reason, flowers are just really important with both of these people. So I'm not trying to focus with just one hand. There we go. Um, um, flowers are just very important with this person. Um, they could like mermaids and things like that. Because like a little, like a goat with like a, I don't know why that is. A goat with like a, a fish tail. Um, and yeah, they could also like Thor. I'm getting like really strong Thor vibes from this. Okay, so let's have a look at your uh charms this person's like really down to you they're really really loyal as well they're like so protective over you it's actually unreal okay so they probably like to play the guitar um got hugs and kisses and a fox so the fox and their sausage dog could be quite prominent with this person got the letter s r g and c they probably have a guitar or like a clarinet or a cymbal like the an instrument symbol so i'm reconnecting with this guitar um you could have music in common and we got the word tuesday so you could be meeting on a tuesday so this could be their name could be a place could be a country you know all that jazz uh, i'm getting the name simba like from lion king so they could like lion king i'm also getting um like salamander like a salamander lizard um groceries so you could be getting groceries together um, I'm getting calm as well. So very calm, very grounded, very reassuring and very stable. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let's give it, give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and like this video. If it didn't resonate, let it fly. Choose another group. Up to you. Also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Apologies for the lighting. It's quite dark in the UK right now. So um, it's quite cosy though, quite cosy vibes. So let's see who's coming towards you. We have Venus. We have Sagittarius. Uh, Neptune. It says Neptunus. That's cute. We also have Mercury. Yeah, Mercury and Cancer. For some reason, this uh, god here, I can't remember what he's called. He's like the messenger. I'm really connecting with him. So this person probably has a very strong... Oh, that's why. Okay, so they're saying because um, people with their Mercury and Cancer, they talk a lot, okay? They talk a lot. So this is why I'm really connecting with this guy because he's the messenger. And Cancerians are, are big talkers. If, if this person has Cancer and Mercury, they're going to be a really big talker, okay? Which is really, really good. Love that. 
We also have relationship change and we also have compassion. Okay, so sorry if the uh, adjustment has changed. It's, I need to change my battery. So for you guys, relationship change, um, what's happening is it's basically you're gonna not be single anymore, okay? This could also mean, I've got a really random scenario that you're possibly divorcing somebody and this person could be like your attorney or lawyer or uh, I don't know the key words. Um, <laughs> What is that word? Um, could be the word universe. What is it called? Solicitor. Thank you. Solicitor. So it could even be your solicitor. You know, that's how you meet this person. Um, but it could be really good friend of them. It could even be an accountant. So it could be your best, could end up being like your best friend or it could be like a relationship. Oh my God. I'm getting a massive pain in my shoulder. Ouch. Ow, that really hurts. Okay. So for you guys, you could be getting a pain in your left shoulder. Could be a sense this person is close to you like near you or it could just mean that you're releasing something ouch that really hurts oh you could like need to talk to this person as well it could like edge you to talk to this person um and compassion what does this mean tell me what this means so a very compassionate person um there's somebody who's very very soft um very loving love nature as well they possibly are a dog walker they like walking in the they like walking in the dark, I tell them. They like walking in the dark. They may like go into the woods in the dark, which sounds really creepy. But they love like nature when it's like, when it's all really dark and really quiet. So we have the five pentacles. I don't like this card. Mm -mm. I feel like you could meet this person when you're going through a destructive time, when you're changing your relationship. So this person could be a friend and then they turn into a lover. Could meet this person when you're going through a breakup, uh, as I say, as a lover or could be a friend. Um... Yeah, this person could be going from, like, a family member to your best friend, you know? You may reconcile with a, a family member. Um, you know, you're just, like, coming closer with something. I'm getting coming, becoming closer. Like, the jigsaw pieces are fitting together now, which they weren't before because there were some things that needed to be released. So this person definitely has strong Virgo vibes. Um and they're very they're quite internal so somebody who loves to like go internally which makes total sense as why well, we've got cancerian as well because they're quite internal people um but they do definitely like to talk a lot um very like a very sensitive person they're very very sensitive very empathic could even be a tarot reader could be a um a carer i'm getting a lover so they're definitely gonna love you so hard even a friend or um i'm getting career so you possibly can meet this person for a career I'm getting a wheelbarrow as well that's really random so they could help you carry your burdens they could be a gardener they could be i'm getting this is so cute and random um nine of cups underneath the deck um somebody is like wheeling puppies in a wheelbarrow so i'm getting like they could i have no idea what this is it could be like a puppy like daycare they could just have dogs and they just wheel their dogs around and they're in a wheelbarrow in their garden. I have no idea. Um, okay, maybe they their dog has their own little pram because maybe they can't walk very well. I don't know. Like, it literally could be anything. They're just extremely caring and they're very, like... Um, oh, what's the word? What's the word, universe? They're very good at, like, adapting. So they're very good at, like... Um, like they don't judge very they're not very judgeful judge judgy person they all like adapt to who you are so say if you're somebody who um possibly is deaf can't or can't walk very well or can't walk at all um maybe even doesn't have one has one leg missing or something like that or is blind they will they will like be really really a company to you okay they will care for you so much that will be like because obviously some people can be really affected by that in relationships or that can really affect your relationship but this person will be so attentive to you even if you're an extremely sensitive person um you could be have gone through quite a lot of trauma i'm getting some of you could have gone through racism this is really intense actually but this person like is so understanding of like um obviously i everyone should be understanding of race and color and everything but this person they're just telling me for some reason this person is so attentive to literally everything so you could be the most gross, ugly person in the whole world and literally have, like, <laughs> I don't know, literally, I, don't, I have no idea. I can't even, but that you could be the most weirdest, craziest, weird, weirdo in the whole world. Um, but they love you, okay? And it's just so cute. Like, I feel like they love adopting puppies with, like, who have been, like, through trauma. And they're really, like, yeah, they're just breaking habits i feel like i'm sorry like i didn't mean to say that you guys are ugly i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying that if i do meet somebody who's like the most ugliest person or the most 
weirdest, craziest person. They'll just be like, do you know what? They're really cute because they're so an individual, you know? And like, they're not judge judgmental at all. And obviously I'm not judging anyone who is not the most attractive or anything like that. No, I don't judge anybody like that. So um, I'm just saying they don't judge at all. Like they're just so open. And there's somebody who is just caring and has like lends a helping hand to you. And there's somebody who will tread in your footsteps, okay? So they'll be very empathic. They'll understand what you've gone through. Very well. This is literally Cancerian to a T. I'm like, honestly, um, yeah, literally Cancerian to a T. I'm getting the moon as well. It's very close to this Cancerian. So yeah, they could have their moon sign in Cancer, which is me, which is cool. Um, they could even have their ascendant in Virgo, Cancerian or uh, Sagittarius. Could have Venus, Sagittarius. Um, and so we've got the planets of Venus, um, Neptune and Mercury. So they could have uh, Mercury in Sag, Neptune in Sag, Venus in Sag. Or they could have Venus, um, Cancer, Cancer and Venus, Neptune, Venus, Mercury, Venus, all that jazz. Um, somebody who will help you earn money as well. You could go into business with this person as a best friend or a partner. Um, there's somebody who is very noticeable. So you'll notice this person when you meet them. They're not like somebody... Uh, I feel like if they're a Cancerian, they're more of like an introvert. But if they're a Sag, they're more extroverted. I'm not saying that because I'm basing it on the Zodiac sign. I'm literally just like from intuition. It's more about like they're more like a homebody. And Sag, they're more of like an open person. So they could be like have both of those in their chart. So they could have like a really good mix of like, I'm really open. I want to meet everyone. I want to be everyone, meet everyone, do everything. And then sometimes they could be like, you know what, I actually don't like today. Thursdays are my don't want to do stuff day <laughs> like really randomly okay they're going to be extremely committed to you after going through quite an intense time with the with the hermit and the emperor they, they've gone through quite an intense time okay um and that is, this has taught them to be more stronger and put down boundaries okay you could also teach them to put down boundaries or they could teach you to put down boundaries so let's have a look at the charm i'm getting the letter z like really prominently no idea why I could like Zed and the uh, DJ. Is it, is it Zed? I don't know if it's Zed. I'm getting sand as well for this person. Okay, so let me lay out all these charms. Got some dream catchers here. Got a gorgeous big butterfly, absolutely huge. Oh, Thursday. I knew we'd have Thursday. Because I said it, didn't I? I said Thursday. They could have a southern accent. I'm really bad at these southern accents. <laughs> so please don't be offended. But, oh, we got Zed. That's good. So then they could be like Loza, like Lauren or something like that. I don't know why I did that. Loza, yeah, Loza. Um, got AK. A Zach could be Zach. Um, got X as well. Yeah, okay. And we've got some roses. We've got pink, purple, green and blue roses. So you could like meet a group of four people. They've got a tower, so they could love Paris, or they love all their French, or your French. Oh, we've also got a pink rose, so I feel like you're going to be finding your soul group, your soul tribe. This person's definitely going to lend a helping hand. They've got a little handmade hand. And they've got a little Christian cross, so they could be Christian, or they could be coming out of Christianity more in spirituality. This person could love Christmas. They could be born around Christmas time, which makes sense, because you've got Sag, and I think Sag is the end of November, I think. I think. I can't remember. And then we've got uh the keys they unlock a lot of things in you very spiritual with a feather and they bring peace to your life okay so this is all the charms that we have okay very gorgeous like they have all of these personalities in them like with the orange purple pink green and blue they just have so much to their personality it's actually unreal like they're so interesting they could be interesting to the point that it's like is there anything you don't do <laughs> is there anything you haven't done <laughs> Uh, is there anything you won't do, you know, which is amazing. I love this person. They're so, like, colourful. They're, like, literally a rainbow, this person. They're... I'm getting two people, though, but one person that I'm thinking about is, like, very colourful. They're very accepting of, like, the LGBTQ community as well. That They probably could be somebody who's gay. You could be gay. Um, they could be somebody who possibly supports uh, gay pride. Uh, that sort of thing. They're just very supportive of everything. They just love, love, they love life and they just love to live. <laughs> live, love and life. <laughs> live, love, life and laugh. Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'm also getting a few guys you could meet this person in a florist. Like, flowers are very prominent for this person and the waves. So it could be a beach. It could be a surfer. I'm getting, like, Cali. 
California and Florida and LA. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Florida and also getting dolphins this person as well and like fish, starfish, seahorses, turtles, all that jazz. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If it doesn't resonate, let it fly. Uh, if it does, then please comment down below, like and subscribe if you would like to. If it doesn't resonate, as I say, just let it fly, choose another group. Um, and if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I have all my options listed and yeah, I love you guys and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.